Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel on the 7th sky. Today our topic is prime factorization. The prime factorization to understand this we just need to understand two things. First prime numbers and the second factors. So let us start what are prime numbers. Yes. A number that is divisible only by itself and one example 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17 and so on. Let us understand the second one. What are factors? Yes, factors are the numbers you multiply together to get a product. For example, the product of 24 has several factors. Look at here. Yes, 1 multiplied by 24, we get the number 24. Yes, if we multiply 2 by 12, 2 multiplied by 12 is equal to 24. Yes, the third one is 3 multiplied by 8 is equal to 24. And the fourth one is 4 multiplied by 6, we get the number 24. So, the factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. So now, you know, the prime factorization is the process of writing number as a product of its prime factor is called prime factorization. Yes, there are two methods of prime factorization. The first one is factor tree method and the second is division method. Today we will learn to solve the sums through the method of factor tree. It is your example one and you know very well that we solve this example with the help of factor tree method. And your question is, write 56 as a product of its prime factor. Yes. So, you know what is a prime number? Yes. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. These all numbers are the prime number. And you know very well that the prime number is only divisible by itself on 1. Okay. So, you know very well that 56 is even number. So, we can write here 2 multiplied by 28. We get the number 56. Yes, 2 is a prime number and a factor of 56. So, 2 is the prime factor of 56. Is 28 a prime factor? No. So, repeat the process. 2 multiplied by 14. We get the number 28. Look at here. Here again 2. And you know 2 is only comes by its own table. So we use the 14. Yes. 2 multiplied by. Very good. 2 multiplied by 7 is equal to 14. Look at here. Yes. This is called a factor tree. All the red digits are the prime factors of 56. Because... Here the last number is 7 and you know very well that 7 is a prime number. It comes by its own table. Okay. So, a product is a result of multiplying. 56 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2. Multiplied by 2 is equal to 7. Yes. 2 to the 4. 4 to the 8. And 8 7 the, you know, 8 7 the 56. It is your second example, write 90 as a project of its prime factor. Draw a factor tree 90. You know very well that we have some prime numbers, but you know 90 is an even number. So, 2 multiplied by 45, we get the number 90. Look at here, your number 45 is a prime factor? No, it's not. So, you repeat the process. 45 but you know very well that it is not your even number so it means it is not comes on the table of 2 so now you think in which table 45 is coming 
Very good. 45 is in the 5 times table. 5 multiplied by 9, you get the number 45. Very good. You know 9? 3 multiplied by 3, we get the number 9. Very good. This is not only possible factor 3, but any factor 3 should give the same and result. Yes. So the result is 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 90. 2 3 is 6. 6 3 is 18. And 18 5 is 90. Hello friends. I hope that you like today's video. So don't forget to like or subscribe my channel. Thank you.